Killer J here. Three more fifty eight here. And today is for the holiday special Team and T free on the NES. So, what do you think about it? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Three: The Manhattan Project. This game came out February of 1993. It also came. Um, it came out in a very short window because a few months later we'll be in Turtles of Time, and then at the end of '92 we'll be Ninja Turtles: The Hyper Signs. So Ninja Turtles Three is is a, and in some degree it's kind of based on Turtles of Time, but not so much. Turtles of Time, the arcade version. Basically, the plot is the Ninja Turtles are having a fun day vacation when suddenly out of nowhere. Matt Hatton is floating up in the air and his real Shredder is the one behind it. So, your job is to stop Shredder and Crane and bring Matt Hatton back to normal. That's pretty much the plot. As far as gameplay goes, it plays like Ninja Turtles 2, except way better. It just controls a lot better, the physics are a lot better, um, and if you're having trouble dealing with enemies, you could just uh, press up and B, and it instantly kills the enemies. So there's a lot of uh, different ways to kill the enemies. Oh yeah, so you get to play switch on four different Ninja Turtles on the fly after you lose a continue? Or lose a life, I mean? To me, this is way better than the second no, team of team. Every time when you die, you can actually switch your turtle. Yeah. Which is really nice. It gives you different play styles and stuff like that there. Yeah. That's what I like about that game, Team and T Free for the NES. And I feel I think it's like one of the only ones that does that. Uh, that does uh, like to switch your turtles out at almost at any time. Yeah, because I know Turtles One there was on the NES wasn't really that great, and Turtles Two was uh, the arcade game version, but it wasn't. It was okayish, but it was it was. Okay for the NES because it was very NES had limited their hardware, so yeah. Oh, and I also want to mention the soundtrack. The soundtrack is very good in this game. There's a lot of great soundtracks, uh, a lot of good song music. There are some songs that was that were, was also in Turtles in Time from the arcade, and they eventually will appear in uh, Turtles in Time on Super Nintendo and even the Hyper Sun Ice on Sega Genesis. The only problem I have with Team NT Free is the flickering with the turtles and that there. That's the only problem I have with it. But besides that, it's still a good game regardless, sir. Yeah. And the, and the challenge is pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. So. Turtles 3. Really solid game. Alright. Nice. So you want me to stop right now or what? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, alright, thanks man. Peace out. Bravo. I'm ready now. Alright, one, two, three. Welcome back to Team and T Free for the holiday special. Yeah, and Ken's not going to T4 is here. Yeah. He's here. Once again, to review the game. Yep. Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. Yes. Manhattan uh, Eve. I play, uh, first of all, I played this on my NES console. I had my NES console to play this. Yeah. And actually, one thing I find weird is that whenever you hold A and B to do a special attack, then you lose, a, you lose life when you do, use a special attack. Yeah, I hate when that happens there. Yeah. It's like yeah. that now you be back in the day you use your special ability, you lose your life or lose the health health points. It's like like what's the point? Yeah, one thing I I especially hate is that that you can you can you can attack your own your own opponent play, a ally and player too. Yeah. Yeah. I my favorite level was the surfing level. That was a fun one. Oh yeah. Yeah, the first I made it was the was the third area. We're right on the ship. Oh yeah. Now that's the first time I made it. That one was hard. Yes. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, it's harder though. Is the first one? Oh yeah, the first one was no. The first one was no I slouch. The first one, they even they remade the remade the the, the sword the the, the the damn level in Mario Maker. Yeah. The, the, with the bombs and whatnot, we have to stop the bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they also have, my favorite one though was probably Trolls Four. Oh yeah, Trolls no. Four was good. Yeah. Yeah, I I mean as far as the pirate ship area, not one. Yeah. Yeah. So how far did you make it in this game? I'm not sure what how far I made. I might made it past the surfing level and then I stopped probably. Yeah. Which console was this on? Is this on any only on NES? Well, it's on NES, not there. Yeah. You have the physical cartridge, or it's digital. I don't have physical. I'm just playing off off a of machine or a site there. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, back then, the originals were popular back then, right? Yeah, the originals were more more dare back then. Everything's yeah. so rare and obscure that people don't even want to bother buying yeah. stuff. They just want to play. Yeah. It. I enjoyed the second movie though, The Secret of Views. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. The third one, third movie was. The yeah. movie was garbage, sure. Yeah, I remember the I remember Avi Jet Slice with the katana, I remember that? Yeah. Time. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, it was something else there. Why you not chump? It's hammer time. It's hammer time. Yeah, my favorite my favorite ninja show is always gonna be the orange one, though, Michelangelo. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I the character I play as in the game though is Donatello. Oh yeah. He has a good weapon, like he has that has the staff. Yeah, because it can got longer, it got good distance there on enemies there. Yeah. Yeah. And I was watching the Spider-Man series of the Ninja Turtles there. I remember that they there's one where they go into space and don't tell, they all have like space weapons, like they have guns and whatnot. Oh yeah, I remember that. There's something else there. There's a newer series, or like from the Newer seasons. Well, is that like Team NT 2012 or what? Because I know Rise is pretty garbage, yeah. sure. Yep. The intro is 2012. Yeah. Sorry about that. I was just ha I just had Mountain Dew in my. I was just drinking a Mountain Dew. <laughs> and Mountain Dew. People, yeah, he's drinking Mountain Voltage. Yeah, people, he's drinking Mountain Dew. The sperm killer. Ah, shut up. Leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should. Why give they strip make those turtles in time? Oh yeah, they should there, but it's yeah. they have to go through like twenty different hoops there. Because Nickelodeon's yeah. has a license, and they, they should just give the back to Konami there. Me and Konami actually be irrelevant again. Nickelodeon has the license. Uh, Nickelodeon has I don't know who's pop, who's developing the games there. Uh, Nickelodeon has a lot of things, but one thing I think of even more stuff is Disney. They bought everything in the world. <laughs> yeah. Disney, we buy we buy everything. Yeah. Yeah, they I mean, they bought Fox recently. Yeah. Yeah, that they bought Ninja Turtles, right? <laughs> well, I forget everyone buys everything nowadays. They freaking buy like. There you see a lot more copies than that back in the day. Or now it's only like so yeah. many. Or. Yeah. There's. One of the Neutrals game that I heard is pretty good. One thing that would be a good idea there is that they made Neutrals fighting game. Like a fighting game with the Ninja Turtles and all, all the villains. Yeah. I know they had something like that on the SNES. It was called Tournament Fighters, but it was freaking hard, though. I, I've heard of that before. But I want to see a newer, a modern style version. Yeah, a modern version, it would be pretty good. Yeah, they actually did. They did a recent game there that was with the Ninja Turtles there. It was called Nickelodeon Kart Race. It was like Mario Kart. They had the Ninja Turtles as playable as playable characters. Yeah. Well, I, right now I gotta give my rating before it switches over to Sniper Elite Four, so I give it a nine out of ten. I give it the same thing, nine out of ten. All right. See you people later. Bye. See ya. Bye. Welcome back to Killer J Gaming, and this is your host Killer J here. And yes, this is the fourth part of the hol holiday special, a Christmas special, whatever you want to call it. There. And yes, it's another review at Killer J Gaming when they hit his house there. Yeah, so today is uh, Sniper Elite 4 for the PlayStation 4. This is like a four-part bundle review. So you're going to get Sniper Elite 4, uh, Team T Free for the NES, Team T Arcade Attack for the DS, and Wolfenstein Young Bl uh, Old Blood. Not Young Blood. Why am I saying Young Blood? That was one of the games I reviewed uh, in the second half.
not not this half. This is the fourth and final half there, so it's going to be so sweet to get this shit over with because I know uh, season twelve was pretty big and expansive already. You had a lot of crazy shit happening with the cussing, not the, not the cussing, but you know, more or less not not with cursing, more or less more or less with like surprises and stuff like that. It's just more or less. Uh, it's has a lot of surprises in season twelve. That's why season twelve keeps you guessing. It doesn't say oh it's predictable like uh like some other games there like have the predictable plots like it play with the twats or something like that. No, just more or less the reviews are more or less to have fun. This game here, Sniper Elite Four, is pretty good. You know, you're just going around sniping people there, and, and the the coolest thing about the Sniper Elite series is like the when you like use your sniper to zoom in, you can do like these like X-ray kills. They're pretty cool. They actually you can blow people's balls off and you shoot them in the incinerate them in in the bits. They're pretty crazy. There, this game is crazy in that sense that. It was a pretty fun game there. I like reviewing games like this there because, you know, all killer you reviews first person shooters. Well, in first person shooters, I review a bunch of games there. That's what I do. I try to mix it up in DVA as much as I can there with the seasons in general because season 12 has to have some deviation in it. That's why uh, the thing is, Sniper Elite 4 is fun and the fact is, I'm liking the fact that I'm reviewing these games that are pretty cool and surprising. Besides season 14, we'll even have more surprises along the way. Who knows what else you might get? You might get more NES games. You might even get more Super Nintendo games. You might even get something else. Another console thrown to the mix there. Who knows what's going to happen? All I know is you're going to keep you guessing because I don't want to be predictable there. Too, too predictable. What What's kind of come to season 14 is going to surprise you because there's going to be a lot of good stuff out of it. There are going to be a lot of good reviews. There's going to be a lot of reviewers coming in and coming back, making returns. Who knows what 2020 will bring for Retro Modern Games? It might bring some pretty cool stuff into it because already Season 12 already starting off there pretty strong as it started there. Started strong with a good review of the game I enjoyed and now it might end off strong. Who knows? All I know is Season 12 is fun and I'm liking the fact that I'm reviewing games I enjoy there. Everyone got their thing in there. Everyone's having a little part. It's just Mac and uh, Grumpy Dad that need to get their keisters moving into, into the review projects there because... Uh, I think that's uh, someone to put texting on Discord or oh, blink. Yeah. I know Discord would text a lot on there, but it's okay. As long as they don't spam too much there, it's fine there, but I want a lot of Discord servers, but anyway, that's besides the point. I want to say to the people out there, thank you for being a part of this holiday special event there. Video Game Lover and JJ Place, thank you to those two individuals that made this uh, thing stand out so far from reviewing, for reviewing Team and T Free there. I like the fact that they're reviewing games like this because, uh, I want to clo close that for a second there, because, uh, yeah. It's good to see that Killer J Gaming is going to be reviewing the games again there, I know part of that, uh, third old half there, yeah. So I'm going to be reviewing this for a couple minutes or so there, just so maybe like five minutes or so, because it's going to continue in, in, the, in continuation of the whole review cycle there. But, what I want to say initially, the graphics for this game are pretty good there, and the gameplay is fun, just like everything else there. Gameplay is pretty fun to pick up and play, or you're shooting people in the face there, you can shoot them anywhere, which way you want, with the x-ray kills, pretty good stuff. And you also can get, like, other weapons too, like, assault rifles and Tommy guns and stuff like that, or you get your whole, whole rigmarole, a wide variety of weapons there, because... Every Sniper Elite theme game has a theme. This one's in Italy or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. It's somewhere, some, somewhere in there. Somewhere, somewhere like that. There probably people are going to correct me and say, Oh, you asshole. You, you, you mistaked it for something else. Well, who knows? I'm not going to have these uh, negative Nellies there. These uh, haters of people say, Oh, you made a mistake. Well, IGN makes like 20 mistakes. At least I admit to my mistakes. IGN don't do, doesn't do that, so... I do rather have the backlash me, I don't give a crap there because me at least I called myself out on it, so that's is what it's different compared to me than the IGM is IGM they just more about politics than actual reviews because when you're reviewing a game you should just review your game and not go into a whole this and that there no one wants to hear about it. people want to hear about the game how is it good, is it bad, or is it mediocre, or is it suckish? Anything like that. They want to hear if the game is worth their money or not. That's what the point of game reviewing is, not point about talking about uh, presidential debates there and this and that. That has nothing to do with the game reviews itself there. 
if you're talking about shit like that, you're not even making sense there. You might as well just not review the game at all. You might just go left field or all over the place there. Like a like a general studio's plot line is all over the place and jumble the guests mess around or talking about retcon this, retcon that, just stop retconning everything. Just make sense of what you're doing there. That's all I have to say about that there because season twelve is all about making sense and you probably hear it in the background my mirror fire mirror fire in the room just to keep the room uh, nice and cool there. So people say you've got mirror fire on yes, I do so. Anyway, that is it for Sniper Elite 4, and I a bunch of whores, full letter doors, and see you people later. And for people, try not to nut too much and no nut in November. Don't play your opponents too much, just try to be strong. Alright, bye. Alright, we're back to Killer J Gaming here in Sniper Elite 4 for the PS4. And I'm going to do this real quick because I says like I want to do the review, so uh, yeah. It's just solo review with Killer J here, and yeah, Sniper Elite 4 on the PS4 is a very good game, and go buy it, and go try it. So yes, Killer J, we'll see you people later for initial review schedule. Like I says, uh, Sniper Elite 4 is awesome, and I will continue to deliver this awesome game review as part of the free minutes and 51 seconds of awesomeness, because like, like I said, uh, six, uh, Season 12 is pretty good, awesome stuff, it's just going to be pretty good. I want to continue this awesome season because it's going to continue even more and more and more and more. Like I said, it's just going to be continuing. Season 12, Sniper Elite 4, and PS4, go try it. If you haven't tried it already, go ahead. What's stopping you? And go ahead, if you haven't tried it already, go play it because Season 12 is here and I'm going to finish it, like I said, sir, because it's going to be finished in 2020. And I'm going to continue this season because I ain't stopping until I'm finished the season. So, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, like I said, season 12 is going to continue, and I will have more reviews in the near future. Bye. And Killer J Gaming will see you people later for the next review, and uh, yeah. I will continue to deliver this awesome review, and uh, later on I'll have more content in the near future, and peace out, and see you people later. And the review will start right about now, and Sniper Elite 4 is a very good game. Go try it. Get an 8.5 out of 10, and Killer Jigging will see you people later for next review. So now, I will work on these projects for now. Until the holiday special is done, I will be satisfied. But it's going to be it'll be a while, but it doesn't matter. The holiday special is a time, a time thing there. But anyway, that is it for now. And let's see what I can say about this awesome pimping game. Peace out. See you people later for the next video game review in 2020. Bye. All right, Merry Christmas and jingles and stuff like that. Huh? I just started already. Killer What's Jay? up? What's up, Retro Gaming Star? <laughs> All right, we'll wait till Retro starts there. Yeah, it's uh, Sniper Elite 4 and uh, Team NT Arcade Attack. Let's see if Retro's there. He's there, it's just his mic there. It was nothing to do with Windows 10 there. Alright. Go ahead and talk, I'll let you talk for a bit there. What's up? Not much, just playing this Christmas stuff. Oh, uh, what Christmas? Uh, more like Team and there's like a bunch of games, there's Team and T Free, there's Team and T. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, do you know how to mod? Do you know how to mod? No idea. You have no idea? No, I don't have no mod mod anything. Oh. Because you gotta move the right protection. Because I know I gotta set up, uh, I got my Elgato there. He, Elgato Hishi 60 S there, uh, from her birthday. I, I, I got my, uh, I got my capture card. You mean the Aver Media one? Capture card? Uh, Alright. Capture card, uh, Yeah, sure. 
You're gonna show me your your media? Let me see. No. Alright. No. Fred discourse up making a retro's machine stutter. messed up or what? Yeah. Is your new media capture card okay? My capture card works. It works okay. Yeah. This is just review of commentary stuff there. I uh, forgot LT LTL driver. LTL man. LTL? No, it's I it TL. I call it ITL. Whatever you want to call them, not totally correct. Never was, never will be. Oh, I figured was out, was out outside a while ago going for some, uh, going for supper, and Frigga was dirty out there. It doesn't help that where Jim, where Jim can't see her. Because my socks are dirty. Random call it scene review. Yes, it is. Killer J random this. Little text in Discord porn all 24 7 there. Lose their hairs in the chails. Ah, there. There you go. Good to go. Yes. Yeah, retro's still there. His mic is having issues, I guess. If your mic has an issue, mic, use a tissue. Now we're just messing around. Still there, retro? Can you hear me? All right, it's still there. It's just probably busy right now. Yeah, you know, I'll try again, maybe. I. I'm. You're busy or what? Huh? I thought you were busy or something. I was trying to act. How you sit? Uh, you try to get his mic set up there. So he's doing retro. So don't don't mind retro. He's just busy and doing stuff here, trying to get his mic set up there. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, review here. A lot of random comments, but doesn't matter. Holiday special is a holiday special, so. Alright, where are we at? Six minutes into this thing there. Seven minutes. Seven minutes and counting. Go to US. 
Go to USB or what? I'm trying to US. You're trying to get his USBs to work with a mod something, so. Huh? You were modding some of your USBs or what? Yeah, I'm trying to put USB. Okay. Good thing you helped me out a little bit there because it gave my, my voice a break there for a bit. Because I do have a messed up throat there a little bit there, but try to get over it there. So I'm fighting. That's why I'm fighting through it there. All right, there we go, and Merry Fishmas. We're starting now. Killer J here. And this is Retro Star reporting. And today we're doing Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Oh, that. That is totally fun. I like stuff. I like all of them. And I, I, I did I did like Wolf. I'm gonna be, I did like because I remember my uncle playing it on East. Yeah, and I enjoyed it too. Very good. Same here. I enjoyed a Wolfenstein uh, 3D. I was playing it on my Xbox 360 at the time there when it, when it first came out to the Xbox. Yeah, the Xbox, the Xbox 360 was a revolutionary, and up. Uh, of the original box. The, the, like, the original Xbox, for example, had a control, which is why it was called the tank. But then when the Xbox 360 came out, um... It changed the game in, in a sense there. Yeah. Well, I don't think I hated about the Xbox. It was the only thing he hated was uh, the Red Ring of Death or what? Yeah, it failed. Connect failed. Oh yeah, Connect wasn't good there. Connect was ass. Stein, Wolfenstein was awesome. Don't think what, what was good about the Connect? What? To like go on chat. Stop. Maybe do like chat with people, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't. Oh. Yeah, I just chat with people there before, but. I know they, they tried to do it again with the Xbox One, but the Xbox One, they put a stop to it, put a screen, screeching hold on to it right away. What? I know Connect. Yeah, yeah, Connect had it on the Xbox One, but they stopped it right away when they. Before you need any coverage. Oh, yeah, they. Yeah. Just like they killed off their backwards compatibility program, they killed that off too. Wait, what? Even with the Xbox to one in its way? Well, I mean, they, they had 360 original Xbox backwards compatible, but they killed off the program there for some stupid reason. That was dumb. Yeah, that was. Sony, the, Sony, the PS4, you can play a PX3 or a PS2 or PS1. Yeah, but they should continue with it. But this year with the Xbox program there, when they stopped stopped it there, I know it was slowing down as they were only announcing a few titles at a time, and they were just for like picking the chintziest games I would ever seen reviewed on Killer Games. Like shit, I won't even play it. Or to be honest with you. Yeah, the Xbox. I I kind of And people wanted Mortal Kombat, I, I, and they I, never got it. I had some free games, so I bought them. And then later down the road, I got, my friend had a, my friend Ryan had a, and later I got a Switch, which probably has one right. Yeah, later on I need to get a Nintendo Switch for myself there. 
Yeah, I use I use my Switch to play Brothers. Um, I play Mario Odyssey and uh, yeah. the Legend of Zelda and some Tog. Yeah. All these different things that are coming. All those different but games. The one, you know what they should do? What? They should make like a back like like they should make like a thing you can play like an adapter or you can make it backwards compatible with Nintendo DS. Yeah. I know Nintendo And the original DS. Yeah. I know Nintendo online has SNES games, they added that there. Yeah, I'm mean, adding NES games too. Yeah, both NES and SNES. Yeah, I have on my on my Switch. Nice. It's affordable too, I think. Yeah, I got it for my birthday. Nice. Oh, oh, I've been playing Final Fantasy X. Nice. You have been playing Sunset Overdrive today. On my Switch. The what? I've been playing Sunset Overdrive on my Switch to uh, not my Switch, I mean my Xbox One. I've been playing Final Fantasy X H Astrid on my Switch. Yeah. It's like Sunset Overdrive on the Switch, now it's on Xbox One. I was playing that today. Working on that for a project there for Yeah. Season fourteen there. That's gonna be the next uh machine there for twenty twenty. Yeah, 2020 is going to be a hectic year. Yeah, I know. Well, probably going to be a hectic year for my content there. Yeah, same with mine. I got I to gotta do some more live streams of Final Fantasy IV now. Yeah. I just did a live stream on Final Fantasy IV for the DS. Yeah. Yeah. Me, yeah, I just did a crap ton of reviews there. I did some reviews myself. I did a review of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah. Nice. And um, I did I did a review of a bunch of stuff like so many so much stuff. Uh, so much stuff is only funny. Yeah. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do more Final Fantasy. Nice. More and more and more and more and more until I beat the game. Oh yeah. Discord text. Everyone's texting like a fiend on Discord. Uh, Everyone's texting on Discord like a fiend of some so some sorts there. Ah, uh, just dishes is rattling. Ah, freaking pimples. Yeah, I'm just doing this there. Season 14 might be the same as uh, Season 12, the 60 things in general there. Yeah, how many videos? How many upload 100? For 100 or what? Or how many I got a... I mean, I got a whack ton of uploads there. Or ass load or whatever you want. Yeah. Big smoke. Do I smoke? No, I said big smoke is from Grand Fall, the big black guy there. From GT or San Andreas there. I'll order or some large food. No one smokes here. Me and Retro don't smoke because smoking just fucks up my lungs, so smoking would fuck up my lungs, so I don't do that shit. I don't, I don't do it either. Hey. Why well, you get, if you you see people when you walk around my where I live, you smell right off of them there. 
It's like they fucking smoke heavy air. Yeah, I don't... They don't smoke much in my... In my, um... My... Yeah. No, well... In, well, I read it's bad for that. Every, every five seconds you go in a store, it's like you freaking smell smoke off them. Like, they... It's like smoke, sh anger, and yeah, shame. Yeah, smoke. Yeah. It can stunt your lungs. Well, not just your lungs, your clothes too. There, you freaking smell it off of you. You go to someone's place that smokes. You have, yeah. to, take, like, take, you have to take like a dirt, like a horse shower almost, like a horse bath there. Do you feel that fucking dirty like they? A whole shower. Yeah, that's what I mean. You feel dirty. You feel like ah, oh, jeez, I just got back from a friend's place and he smokes like that. So come on here. Because I know people that smoke. Who's your friend? I had a lot of friends there, but they, they freaking, you know, back a day. Or, you know, there's a bunch of people I know that smoke. There are too many of them there. I know too many that smoke, and I don't even... I have friends that don't smoke. You have friends that don't? That's good. Yeah. My friend Trina, she doesn't smoke. Um, well, Lachelle doesn't smoke. That's Chris good. doesn't smoke. That's good. It's better that way. I don't do that. No, well, it's too much, sir. Especially you can't breathe in her. Freaking, oh, I just smell like smoking. Ab just... Abby doesn't smoke. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You got some good influences. Here in town, they're all fucked anyway, most of them there. Yeah. They judge you. Oh, you're hanging out with this person because he's good. And I need my attention. I'll freak off. I got reviews to do. <laughs> is all you do? All you do in my? All you do where, where I live is. Is that is, you? What? Is that you and your avatar? No, it's G Station. That is not me at all. Who is that? I said I am G Station. That's my avatar. Him get pepper smacked. Put as a mean picture for now. Oh. But you said all your friends do what? All my friends, uh, and the ones I know, they smoke mostly, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Well. My friends in high school never. Your friends in high school never smoked? Well, that's good. It's better that way. It's better that way. Better for everyone. Stunt your lung. Yeah, well, that's it too there. Does anybody get fun? Does anybody make. Yeah. You make it fun of cigarettes. There was a butt cigarette. You stick out your butt. Is it called a butt cigarette? <laughs> what the hell? A butt cigarette? <laughs> a butt cigarette, yeah. What? More like a butt cigar. Yeah. <laughs> That's just uh, making fun of that. There, I made fun of it one time my YouTube roast there. Well, you stick a cigarette up your ass and you call that a butt cigarette. <laughs> Frick. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> There's a soul, it's so small, it goes up your butt. <laughs> Frick. Me and my memes there. That's how you said. That's how you said it straight there. Don't give a shit. Just make fun of butt cigarettes there. So, all right, happy holidays, people, and this was a good one. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Star. Killer J's out. Bye. This is Matt Jeremy, and Merry motherfucking Christmas, everybody. Have a good one. Killer J here. Yep. Introduce yourself. I am Benjamin Weaver, aka Zorz Extreme, and I am uh, also good friends. I used to, I uh, I watch YouTube videos of Corey Margera. Same here. Mm -hmm. I like that video where you answer my question about the Frosted Flakes one there. Oh yes, that was funny. Yeah, I I, I used to eat Frosted Flakes uh, back in the day. They're good for like a little snack if there's not much in the house. They're pretty huge. They're good in there. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. 
but I bought myself some drinks uh, yesterday, uh, some Coca Cola on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got my own mini fridge in my own room now. Moved into a bigger room. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Indeed. See you people later. Bye. Greetings and Merry Christmas from the Gaming Grandpa and I'm here to support my very good friend Killer J Gaming. He said Merry Christmas from us both and a Happy New Year. Alright, it's Killer J here. Introduce yourself. G-Man. Yeah, G-Man. So what do you think about the Christmas so far? Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Nice. I think it's pretty good too, it's just more or less, uh, it's, it's more that time you need to get, stay in a house more or less there. Well, yeah, there's some, enjoy some enjoyment in Christmas. Yeah, like friends and family and stuff like that there. Yep, friends, family, food. Yeah. Eat like friends. no water. Yeah. The presents are good. What do you get for Christmas this year? Um, I don't know. I was looking for a Pacers mug, Indiana Pacers mug. Um, Steam enough Steam money to buy Red Dead Redemption Two on Steam. Oh yeah, that's a good game. Red Dead Redemption Two. Or it happened on PS4. Beat it on PS4. I'm just been waiting for the PC release, and it came sooner than I expected. Yeah, sounds like a lot there. I would like to see um, do a Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare number two. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Rockstar, Rockstar unpredictable. Yeah. More unpredictable than Neverall. Neverall's predictable. Yeah. Oh, Sindel's a dominatrix. He had all that time to change it and didn't change it. Hmm. And he got death threats on Twitter. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but stop threatening with your death threats, guys. Like he says, stop asking for a fighter. That's a, that's a meme now. I'm making a new meme out of it there. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. People on Twitter are, such, are so fucking dumb. I know. It's called a twatter. Tickle your twat on Twitter. Nutcases. It's a site for nutcases. Yes. Alright, see you people later. Bye. That's model over here. Cutest cat ever. Massage in the bed. There you go. Is in the holiday special number eight. See you people later.